ash to ash and dust to dust It's a fate that waits for all of us But let's recall who's in this grave Buried here in Portland, Maine Helen Augusta Blanchard was born into a wealthy Portland clan in 1840, but the family fortune evaporated during a financial panic in 1866. That's also the year that most of Portland burned down. Her father was forced to sell the family home, and then he died. That's when Helen moved to Boston, and with no formal mechanical training, she became the 19th century's most successful woman inventor. She was over 30 when she filed her first patent, and that was for the now ubiquitous zigzag sewing machine. When she filed her final patent over 40 years later, she had 28 of them to her name. Most had to do with commercial sewing machines, but she also patented an improved surgical needle and a crank pencil sharpener. When Helen Blanchard died in 1922, she was a very rich woman, but she had no children and no will was filed in probate court, so it's unclear just what happened to her sizable wealth. We do know that once she remade her family fortune, she was able to come back to Portland and rebuy the old family homestead the one her father had had to sell all those years before.